hello welcome to Archimedes coach in this section we're going to discuss about the enzymology section and in enzymology we are going to see a clinical importance of enzymology how we are going to use the topic enzymology what we studied till now so we are going to see basically the enzymology is divided into two parts first there's a functional enzymes and non-functional enzymes in our body there's a two types of enzymes present either functional either non-functional what does it mean functional enzymes is it here the functional enzyme is that which has function in the blood the enzyme which is function perform their function in the blood that is the lipoprotein lipase and the clotting factors all the type of clotting factors is present in our blood they are in perform their function in the blood next one is all the types of lipoprotein lipases these are also the type of function enzyme. but the another one is non-functional enzymes they having no any function in the blood simple there is a no any function in the blood that's why they are called as non-functional enzyme so these are the types of enzymes on the basis of their presence of action in the blood or not in the blood. Now next topic we are going to see in the clinical enzymology is isoenzymes. It is a very very important topic for the future doctors or for the important diagnostic criteria in our body. Suppose that the patient is having different types of disease is like the myocardial infraction in the heart and in the liver there is a liver inflammation like the hepatitis or the any type of injuries in the different types of different parts of our body they all are going to diagnostic criteria is done by this isoenzyme so it is very important let's start our topic what is isoenzyme is basically it is the physically distinct we can calculate it physically in the forms physically distinct form of the same enzyme it is the distinct different types of the uh, format of the same enzyme is appeared in our body in the different parts so they are catalyzing the same reaction in our body they are also going to catalyze the same reaction in the different way now we are going to see what is the properties of these isoenzymes what are the different uh, uh, different properties how they are going to recognize the isoenzyme is it here they are maybe having different products of the different gene they may be product of the different gene is producing them or they are maybe made up of the different subunits their subunits will be the isoenzyme is having the same name but the subunits will be different in the different locations of the body they are working next they are having different electrophoretic mobility it means when we are going to done electrophoresis in which their mobility will be different of this same L, same enzyme is having different subunits having different mobility which appear they are differ in heat stability also there is heat stability is having different subunits having different heat stability next one is Michaelis constant or KM constant or substrate specificity will be differ by the different enzymes or the cofactor requirement is vary as the different types of enzyme is used here next one the different tissue localization these enzymes on their subunits will be localized in our body in the different different locations also so these are the special criteria of the or the properties of the uh, uh, isoenzymes now we are going to see here what is the different types of isoenzymes first example is lactate dehydrogenase it is the very very important example for us to know about the lactate dehydrogenase it is a isoenzyme it means in the our body this isoenzyme is present in the different different location but the criteria will be same as the same component we can say they converting the pyruvate into the lactate they converting the pyruvate in the lactate by the special type of enzyme that is LDH lactate dehydrogenase and they utilizing a one hydrogen we can see here NADH and they converting into the NAD positive it means there is a utilization of H plus means there is a utilization of energy somehow and they converting the pyruvate into lactate by the lactate dehydrogenase enzyme so what is the next this lactate dehydrogenase in our body they present in the tetramer form they are present in the tetramer format in our body it means there is a tetramer subunits and having two types of subunits in our body two types of subunits it means there is a somehow the H and AM is two subunits but they are present in our body four formats four formats like this suppose that H H H H M it the four formats or suppose that H H H H H it is the second format next is M next is two cutting there is M 
and next is third cutting that is H M M M M M. These are the following sequence of this LDH sequence in our body. So now we are going to see how this LDH in our body is arranged. Let's see. These are the isoforms of lactate dehydrogenase. We are looking here. The this is the lactate dehydrogenase, and we are going to organize in a tabular form all these lactate dehydrogenase types. LDH one means lactate dehydrogenase first, second. Third, four, five. It means there are five different iso enzymes of the same enzyme is going to classify here. Their subunits will be two. All I told you H and M. How you are going to see H four? It means one H H two H three H four. The the four subunits are arranging like this. All the H iso form enzymes arranging here. Either tetramer sequences here. Next we can see H H H and M one because M is one here and H is three. It means three H. And H H M and M. This is the subunit here. Next H M M M. This is the subunit here. Next one is only M M M. These are the subunits arrangement. If there is any MCQ questions, we are arranging like this. This is the same LDH one, LDH two. If the person is writing the LDH two, it means you have to know H three M one. It is the same term. Next, we are going to see how they are going to mobility, showing their mobility on the electrophoresis technique. If the fastest one is LDH one, they are moving moving very fast on the pH of eight point six. The fastest one is movement is LDH one. Faster one is LDH two, slightly less, and the fast one is LDH three, slightly lesser than the faster one. Next, the slowest one movement on the pH eight point six on the electrophoresis will be the Slow that is LDH four and the slowest one is LDH five. It means LDH five one is moving very 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 slowly. So we can identify on that. Next we can see what is the tissue of origin where these enzymes, iso enzymes are present in our body. It is the location origin originated. Suppose that any person is having damaged in our heart. It means somehow this lactate dehydrogenase. What segment of the lactate dehydrogenase iso enzymes LDH one, LDH two, LDH three, LDH four? Which one is present in our heart? How we can going to diagnose which portion of our body is going to damaged from where these enzymes are coming in our blood? So we can see if there is any tissue of origin is related to LDH one. So that is the heart and muscles is maybe affected in our body. If in our blood circulation LDH one is identified, or we can say H four H four subunit is going to be identified of the lactate dehydrogenase enzyme, it means the person is having somehow the affect uh, affect the part of the either heart or the muscles is going to affect. If the serum concentration is thirty percent, next we can see the LDH two is going to present the tissue of origin RBCs and kidney. Kidney and RBCs is representing here by the LDH two. If there any person having destruction of RBCs leads to or there any kidney in mal mal information, we can see there any damage in the kidney. It will leads to the showing the effect will be the LDH two. If the LDH two is level will be higher in our serum or the serum blood that is thirty five percent more than them. Next we can see LDH three is present our brain presenting our spleen, lungs, lymph nodes, leukocytes and platelets. These all are the cells representing. These all are the organs is representing what LDH three. It means the any malformation, any disorders or the diseases in these segments. And it leads to the release of LDH three isoforms of lactate dehydrogenase, and their concentration will be twenty percent of them. Next, we can see that is LDH four. It is the ten percent of them. They are present in the liver, skeletal muscles, basically. So, if there is any increase in the level of LDH four and LDH five, it will be indicating that somehow the damage of liver. So, this is the sequence how we are going to identify these enzymes. Where they are location, we have to must memorize what are the sequence or the sequential arrangement of these enzymes. We have to learn and we have to know about it by heart because these are the very important for us to know what are the lactate dehydrogenase sequences, how we are going to identify it in our body. The different parts is damaged, so we have to learn. Next, we are going to see about the creatinine kinase. 
let's start creatinine kinase is having dimer format it means they are just in two form like the previous one there is a tetramer format h h h h h h4 h3 m1 it like the they are sequential arrangement will be the tetramer but here is the dimer format it means either mm mb or hm like this sequence here two subunits are present we can see two monomer units like the am and b it means the dimer format will be combining like this mm mb or either BB like this we can see so we can see this creatinine kinase having table is arranged here we can see that CK1 creatinine kinase 1 creatinine kinase 2 and creatinine kinase 3 arrangement in the any where there is a written BB it means creatinine kinase 1 there is a arrangement is like CK2 it means MB MM means CK3 means creatinine kinase type 3 isoenzymes what is the electrophoretic mobility is maximum for which one that is BB for the maximum electrophoretic mobility on which on electrophoresis and intermediate it may, may neither maximum or neither lower but it will be the intermediate format it means the least movement will be the mm so what we indicate if the person is having CK1 is appear in the blood serum that is the brain is affected somehow if the person is having CK2, MB segment will be appeared in the serum or the blood, the heart will be affected somehow. The heart will be the heart muscles will be going to damage somehow. Next, CK3 is going to indicate it as skeletal muscles damage. So you have to learn it when the which part of enzyme is appearing in the blood and what is the sequential arrangement, how you are going to think about it, which organ is damaged. So it's very easy for you to learn now. And we have to learn by heart these all things. So now next we have to know the percentage of blood also. There is a 1% in the blood, 5% in the blood, 80% of the blood. They are recognized this digit. Next one is alkaline phosphatase. It is also a type of isoenzyme. This alkaline phosphate is appear in our body in the sixth format. We can see alpha 1 alkaline phosphate. Next alpha 2 heat liable alkaline phosphate. Alpha 2 heat stable alkaline phosphate or pre beta alkaline phosphate is gamma alkaline phosphate and leukocyte alkaline phosphate these are the six different types of isoenzyme format of the alkaline phosphate where they are presenting and what they are presenting alpha 1 damaged alpha 1 enzyme where they are situated in our body what they are indicating if they are appeared in the blood we are going to see if the alpha 1 alp alkaline phosphate is appeared in our blood then it's indicating the person is having biliary canaliculite disorder in his body and there is a obstructive jaundice in this case also it is elevated in our blood or maybe the patient is having metastatic calcium plus liver it means carcinoma of the liver this is also indicating alpha 1 alkaline phosphate isoenzyme is indicating in the blood if the person is having alpha 2 alkaline phosphate enzyme when it's going to rise in our blood the person is having hepatic cells is increased in the cells that is hepatitis that is inflammation of the hepatic liver cells next one alpha 2 heat stable alkaline phosphate is what is happen there is a most heat stable protein which leads to if the person is having placenta is going to inhibited by the phenylalanine they are indicating the placenta is going to somehow inhibited by the phenylalanine or they are considered as a regan isogen and they are the tumor marker they are the marker of tumor so alpha 2 histostable lp is or the alkaline phosphate is indicating here there's a tumor marker also next we can see pre beta lp that is alkaline phosphate is beta pre that is the indicating on the bones disorder and they are the increase in the disorder associated with the bone basically if there are any disorders associated with the bone the pre beta lp is indicating in our blood very high amount the gamma one is indicating here in the intestinal disease they present the any intestinal disease appeared supposed that ulcerative colitis in the ulcerative ulceration is occurring in our large intestine it leads to the gamma lp will be increased in the blood so next we can see leukocytic leukocytic lp there is a leukocytes is representing here for the wbc so these are the different alkaline phosphate sequence when they are going to rise in our blood or in the in the blood in body indicating the what are the regions is damaged in our body so these are the different uh, enzymes isoenzymes we are discussed here in the clinical enzymology and what are the clinical application of these enzymes 
so in thank you for the listening this and in next topic we are going to discuss about the different specific organ markers like the cardiac markers liver acute damaging markers so thank you next see you in next video